welcome back to the channel. My name is Paula and I'm the owner of Evergrace Nail Lounge and Academy here in the beautiful market town of Howden in East Yorkshire. Today's vlog is going to be all about um, beautiful, shimmery, colour changing um, techniques that I use with my fabulous Mystic Nails polishers. So if I just show you these little bottles of loveliness. I received these from um, Rebecca Orm, who is the distributor of Mystic Nails in the UK. Um, and she sent me these through for me to have a look at and try and have a play with and see what I think. So I thought I'd do a little video just to let you know what my thoughts are. So first and foremost, if you've never heard of Mystic Nails before, um, it's my chosen brand of um, gel polish, acrylic, um, acrogel, the whole kit and caboodle. And the reason that I love Mystic Nails so much is because of the quality and um, what it does for my clients and what it does for my work as well. So if I just show you this um, little brochure from Mystic. Um, you can see that the quality of the brochure is absolutely stunning um, and I just absolutely love that. The colours are all laid out. Um, sometimes when you're choosing colours on a, a computer screen um, you can't really tell what the colour is because the, the screen's pigmentation or whatever it is, I'm not a techie person at all. Um, but there's sometimes a, a little bit of a change in the colour. So what you're seeing on the screen is not necessarily what you receive in the bottle. Um, whereas with the brochure from Mystic, you can see the colours perfectly and they do match the colour that's in the, the bottle as well or in the, the tub or um, that type of thing. So, you know, even the brochure just whiffs of... Um, Quality. It's a Hungarian brand run by a family. Um, everything about the brand is um, quality from the production, all the products and all the ingredients that are used within the products are all um, registered and safe to use on human beings. Um, so yeah, I just love them. And as I say, I've tried quite a few different um, brands in my time. Um, but Mystic is the one that I chose to stock my salon with because, as I say, I absolutely love it. So the gel polishes that um, Rebecca sent through for me are called Glam Eye um, Gel Polishers, um, little bottles of gorgeousness. And this bottle um, of gel has um, how I, how can I describe <laughs> <laughs> the gel polish itself, it's very much a colour changing um, gel polish. So depending on what lights hit um, the surface of the nail depends on what colour you see. So this little pot is um, 01 and this has a beautiful pink tones to it. It's also got um, some khaki tones in there. Um, it runs everything from green through to hot pink, depending on the um, sort of angle and how the light hits the nail. So I absolutely adore these gel polishers. So I wanted to put together just a little bit of a tutorial just to show a different way of using um, this type of polish. I'm sure you've all heard of um, you know, the tiger eye or the dragon eye um, style gel polish. It, it works on a similar basis. But instead of um, just seeing one colour um, shimmering throughout the um, change, if that's how you say it, um, instead of it just being one colour on the um, effect, it ranges through a rainbow of colours, which it, it just makes it absolutely stunning. So I had a little bit of a play um, with these polishers and I filmed that play. I wanted to try something a little bit different other than just coating the whole nail and then sticking a magnet on it here, there and everywhere um, to create different um, effects. I wanted to use it a little bit more artistically. So I hope you like this video and this tutorial. Um, 
I've created um, almost like a, a snake-like feel but with an ombre in there as well. So I really hope you enjoy it. If you do enjoy this video and you want to see more from me, please subscribe to the channel. And um, There's a button somewhere, click the bell so you get a reminder or a notification every time I upload a, a video. And let's crack on with the tutorial. Here we are guys, these are the um, nails that I had a play with. As you can see I've used the gel polish, it's a little bit of an ombre into the black on a number of these nails and you can see that polish and the range of colours um, that you get just by um, you know, the direction of the light that hits them. So the, the ones that I have, there's six colours all together in the Mystic range, I have three of them. So I've got a pinky tone one, this beautiful um, bright green tone one and also this blue one. The blue ranges all different types of blues from aquas through to cobalty, purpley um, blues. The green runs from bright green through to quite a dark khaki and then the pink one has all kinds of different um, colours in from hot pinks to um, khakis absolutely stunning. So the green one is Glamine number two, the blue one is Glamine number three and I'm going to be working with Glamine number one in this um, very quick tutorial. So I've got my tips all prepared here, I've got a couple of layers of black polish on there and I've left the last layer uncured. So that's a wet layer of black polish on there. I've got my Glamine and also my gel liner brush um, for from Flo and Ellie and my little thumb palette. So I'll place some of the Glamai onto the thumb palette and then I'm going to use my gel liner brush to place some of that um, gel, uh, Glamai into the wet layer of the gel polish. And I'm not going to be too careful with this, I'm just going to place it down in little strokes just to emulate a little bit of a flower design on this nail and because the black is still wet, it's going to disperse that um, Glamai gel polish um, through the black and give it a softer edge to the um, Glamai um, design. So I'm just going to keep working round, placing little dashes all working in the same direction. And then once I've finished with my dashes, if there's any... Um, little areas that I feel need filling in then I'll just pop a, a dot in any sort of blank spaces just to fill that nail up. Once that's done then I'm going to go and grab my um, double-ended magnet. Now the double-ended magnet has got um, a round magnet and a square magnet. So the closer you come to the nail the darker um, your design is. So I'm going to use the magnets to my advantage. So here I'm getting closer and closer to the nail and pushing that pigment further and further away so more of the black appears. So once I'm happy with that, that can go into the lamp and then my next one, again a little bit more polish and then this one I want to do like a little bit of a um, sway across the nail. So again, same technique, just dashes that go across in the pattern that you want it to go in. No great care being taken. So quick and easy to do um, in the salon on your clients. And again, that top layer of black is wet. So that um, Glamai polish is going to disperse into that layer. Any little areas that I feel need filling up, I'll pop a couple of dots in there. And then after a, a second or two, that will disperse. Then with my magnet, I'm going to bring that magnet in closer to the nail on the edges, just so that the black bleeds into um, the Glamai colour, or more of the black um, is shown. And then once that's cured, give it a top coat, uh, my favourite top coat, it's no wipe um, gel, joker shine and then that can go into the lamp 
and then tuck out my little sway one. You can see those colours coming through there, it's absolutely stunning. And then pop that one into the gel, into the uh, gel lamp. Can't talk today. So here we go, these are the finished set um, that I had a play with. As you can see, because I placed the magnet closer to the nail just on the edge of the design, more of the black is showing at the edge, so it, it looks like it's ombre into the design, which is a lovely little technique to use on your um, clients. The little finger is just one coat of the Glamai polish, no magnets. And you can see all the pigments coming through on that nail as well. Absolutely stunning. I love this gel polish. And because I've done it on um, press on nails, I can then pop those onto my hand and use that as um, a marketing tool. Um, you know, you can take a little video of that and pop that onto your Facebook feed for your clients to see just how beautiful they would look on their nails and then you can upsell that design to your client so there we go guys i hope you enjoyed that little lesson please feel free to subscribe to the channel and remember to click the bell so that you get a notification every time i upload a new tutorial if you've got any questions or queries, please feel free to make a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can do. And if you want to purchase any of the products that I've used in this video yourself, again, I'll place the link within the um, description box below so that you can purchase your own product to play with or use in your salon. Um, I'll also link the discount code um, or my educator discount code for you to use which will also give you 10% off of any product that you, you purchase through Rebecca. So I shall see you next time guys. Stay safe. Bye.